swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Hello! My name is Kyla, I'm 19 years old, and today I'm going to be taking you thrifting with me. Usually when I film these videos, I have a Pinterest board that I give you a tour of. A lot of times I like to have some inspiration and idea of pieces that I'm looking for before I go thrifting. But this time around, I honestly just kind of freeballed it. I didn't really have any ideas. I just went in with the intention of finding good stuff. And let me tell you, I did exactly that. So let me take you thrifting, and then we'll meet back here for the try-on haul. This set is really comfortable and I love the shade of pink. Plus it has this really cute frilly detail on the top and on the bottom of the pants. The only downfall is that they are so short, I feel like it's giving high water. This is the denim maxi skirt on. I think the length is perfect and it fits my waist pretty well too. What I especially love is the detailing on the pockets. And this also fits really well. It's super frilly up here, but it's not see-through. And then this here is all sheer. So this is the second store I visited. The first thing I found was this pink blazer just in time for Valentine's Day. And then I also made sure to check the pants section this time around since I usually avoid it like the plague. I've been looking around for mostly low rise lately and I found a few to try on. And then I loved this red express jacket but it was torn so I kept looking and I found tons more leather. And then these sandals were insane but they were a size too big so sadly I couldn't get those. So then I went and checked the kids section as I always do and I saw this crop jacket which I thought was kind of funny but I decided to try that on. And then this poncho was also mixed in with the kids stuff and it looked like I had a wide neckline so naturally I had to try it on as well. I found really nice shoes at this store specifically before and these seemed cute but I quickly realized why they were donated. And then the last thing I wanted to show was this vintage looking Jaguar luggage bag. My sister said it looked grandmush, but I guess that must be my style because I loved it. Unfortunately, these pants did not fit me very well. And then even though this jacket is a really nice quality and it fits really well, I just don't think that the color is something that I would reach for often in my closet. Um, but I do love everything that I did get. We have just arrived at an old friend of mine's house because I'm planning to buy some clothes secondhand from her. I'd say this is the only form of online thrifting that I do and I actually really like it. I literally just pulled up to her mailbox, so I'm gonna try on the piece and then if I like it, I'll send her the money. If I don't, I'll just leave it here. This is what I'm trying on. It's a Lululemon zip up. I love the material, it's really soft. I dressed super comfortably today because I'm gonna go to a Goodwill that's in this area as well. And I know they don't have any fitting rooms, so it'll be a lot easier to try stuff on with just like a basic form-fitting outfit. Yeah, I love it, so that's that. I can definitely see myself wearing this to the gym or to run errands, you know, be on my bougie shit. I'm gonna go ahead and send her the money for this and then we'll head to Goodwill. I didn't have as much time as I'd like to look around, so I'm just gonna quickly try on some of the stuff that I've already picked out. I love the neckline, but I don't really like the way it fits through the whole body. So this is a no. Next is this vest. I actually very much dislike this, so it's coming off immediately. Next is this chocolate blazer. I was honestly just attracted to this gold hardware. Hard to imagine me putting an outfit together with this and actually liking it, so I think I'm gonna leave this too. This jacket was peeking at me from over on Woody's Rocks. All 
I was really debating getting this jacket until I found this pair of Aeropostale low-rise pants. They're a boot cut and I think that this will look really cute as an outfit together. So I'm gonna try it. If I get home and try it on and I don't like it, I'll just return it. The first piece I'm trying on is the poncho. I love how it comes off the shoulder and it's super lightweight and flowy, which will be comfortable for the summer. I can just already imagine myself with a bikini and a pina colada in my hand and that is everything that I need in life. Next are these very Y2K feeling Miss Me jeans. They're low rise and have a wide flare, which is the perfect combination for me with pants. But my favorite part is the peace sign pockets because I used to have a bunch of pair of jeans like this when I was younger. I also picked up this cozy off the shoulder sweater. It's super soft, a little bit oversized, and I'm wearing that with the denim maxi skirt that I found. I love the detailing on both the front and the back. I feel like it makes it look a lot more visually interesting. This is something that was actually on some of my Pinterest boards, so it was a very lucky find. Okay, I know this next top looks similar, but they're definitely not the same. This sweater is cropped and feels looser on the neckline, so I had to get both. And the pants are a cream corduroy boot cut. They're really comfortable and perfect for neutral toned outfits. This leather jacket is next. I'm obsessed with all the details. It looks best zipped and buttoned in my opinion, and I put on these sunglasses to kind of fit the vibe, but I would definitely style this a lot differently than how I look in these clips. The original pants I bought didn't fit, so I'll have to try something else. And then you guys already saw this Lulu zip up. And now we're getting into my favorite finds. So this baby doll top is super fun. I like that the straps aren't boring and the sheer body just looks so nice with the black skirt underneath. And lastly, I got this pink blazer. It's super comfy and warm. And this is actually what I ended up wearing for Valentine's this year. I think this will be a big staple in my closet for springtime. So that concludes the try on haul. All of those pieces are just... I do plan on making more thrifting content. I just am trying to avoid over consuming. So I've made a rule for myself that any article of clothing that I thrift has to replace something that's already in my closet. So when I'm putting all my stuff away, I need to take one thing out to either donate or sell. I think that'll help prevent my wardrobe from becoming too massive because I do have a habit of pushing my clothes all the way to the back of my closet and forgetting they exist. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, I do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you liked it because there's more like this on the way. I will see you later. Bye. Thank you.